I didn't care how hot he was. I ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You that hot, I don't care. I said, I said, I, I do, I know me, and I said, I'd find somebody else. Right. He was hot as firecracker, like, when nobody in the mid south hot at him at the time. Mm -hmm. Kearney, so, but then I, I put that energy on Soldier. I think you actually made a, a good decision because mm -hmm. if you look at everything now, you actually had the, the meal ticket the whole time. You yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. Especially like when people want to get But that's the type of guy I am though. I mm -hmm. like to help people and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Right. You feel me, you know, and, 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 but he apologized. He just was a drunk, he was just in his feeling, you know what I'm saying? People you do you don't talk. That man said, Man, this ain't your company, man. This is my company. Right. Why he came with you like that? If I, I, I just, he was just drunk, he just was just how he was feeling. He just said what's on his mind, he was drunk, he don't really drink neither, no. Mm -hmm. And he's just pretty smoke. And he, I think he was high, so he's just like, he had never did it before, but he did it that day, though. Wow. And, I, and they did it for everybody. Everybody was just looking like, we was at a round table, everybody, like 10 people, man. Girls and everything, they were supposed to be into me, man. I'm like, man, I just looked at it, I was so mad. Like, by him being my partner's son, or my first cousin, that's why I ain't even try to jump on him or nothing. I just said, man, I'm just gonna walk away from there. Cause mm -hmm. I see what's gonna happen. Right. I was already letting the stuff slide by, you know what I'm saying? Niggas trying to smash your girl behind your back, all that stuff. But it ain't nothing, it's just about respect, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Niggas, you niggas get a million bitches, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I got out of prison, man, I knocked down a 45 jumps. And, and, and after I knocked down 30 jumps in 45 days, man. Right. Hey, I was I told you I had to catch up, boy. Uh, hey, all, yeah, I had to do, all I had to do was get on the curb and pull up a shirt. I was cut up when I got out of prison. Right. They was stopping. I was, hey, hey. You know get, the, get the, the prison guys. Yeah, yeah, I was cut up when I got out too, boy. All I did worked out for seven years. Right. Man, I was so cut up. Those niggas said, man, you're going to stop working out. You're going to lose your weight. I like, nigga, y'all stop hating on me, nigga. I ain't going to stop working out. I ain't going to lose my weight. She, I love a lot of weight. I was taking my hair. Then I started gaining weight, man. But it took a minute, though. But they told me, like, you ain't going to keep it up. You ain't going to keep it up. But uh, So I, I was thinking about that shit for this year because I thought the niggas was hating on me. But, you know, I could have. I had the opportunity to do what I had to do. But I like, know you got out, man. You, you know, you're working out all the time because you ain't got nothing to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do. Work out and run around the yard when you get your car, you know? Mm -hmm. You get out get busy. It's, it's different, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most definitely, man. He did the lifestyle I was living. That shit was just on steroids when I got out. Cause I knew more and had more connection, you know what I'm saying? It was, you feel me? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, man, uh, I was always told that when people show you who they are, especially on the alcohol, believe them. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? When they show you that, actually, you know, uh, it's best to, you know, pay attention and, and it's, it's, it's good that you come.